good day, Cell Wars fans. I'm Sandy Pondwater, and today we're going to learn how to nail the star, or maybe how not to mess up the star. This video is brought to you by the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club, who are also hosting the Region 2 Championships this year. They are located in Frederick, Maryland. And of course, we love the AMYA. Make sure you're a member. And we have a new Facebook page. Please look us up on Facebook and friend us. The first thing you have to understand is that every start is different. Nine, eight, seven, six, Here is an example five, of a uniform four, start. Three, two, one. Everyone was lined up on starboard tack. No one went against the grain on port. There are two types of start lines. Open start line, where you can go across the line and just get back before the start. And a closed line. On this one, you have to go back out and around the mark if you go across the closed line, usually within the last minute before the start. Here's an example of an open line. You see number 888, it went across but came back before the start. Let's see number 777 get blocked. He is on port tack and number 48 is on starboard tack. Number 777 is forced to tack when he doesn't want to. This change in course cost 777. Let it go, don't touch anything. There you go. Speed, angle, and distance. Other side of the lake. In this example, 777 is too slow to get in the way of the boats that are coming across on Port Tack. If he was quicker, he could have altered their course. Instead, all of them got a clean start and became leaders, and he is going in the wrong direction now. He might as well have started on that side of the line. Here, number 11 could have forced many boats to tack, but he bailed out early. He also lost his momentum by tacking at the last moment. He should have been communicating with them and forced them to tack. Watch number 29 time the start perfectly. Number 25 did well, too. Always stand on or near the start line, so you can see if you are over. Timing is crucial. It's better to be a second late than go over. Now when more than three boats are over, a recall may be called, meaning there is a restart. This is up to the race director. Number 71 and 7 do a great job on the start. Notice how they were on starboard tack until the last second. Yeah. 
there. Number 112 rides the line in this example. Just watch out that a leeward boat does not force you over the line early. Watch number 29 force number 22 over early. Number 22 had nowhere to go. Guys, two two and nine one. Recall two two and nine one. Two two clear. Look at the time number 22 lost by having to go back. He goes way out before returning. Number 81 does to number 54. This is great tactics, but make sure you are talking. Five, no five, need for four. a crash. Clear and 2-1. Two 2-1 one. Two one clear. Number 405 stops both boats on port from slipping in there on the start. He wins the start. 777 is communicating and on starboard tack. Number 08 is on port tack. Who should do a penalty turn? Number 08, of course. Number 49 bails on the start because number 217 shuts the door. Sometimes it's better to turn out early than cause a penalty. Here is an example of no one getting forced over. The boat at the end does run out of room and has to go around. Here we have two problems. One boat causes a collision by coming in on port tack. The other problem is that number 05 went over the line early on a closed start. He will have to go out and around the mark costing a lot of time. Look at all that time he'll have to make up on this start. A few boats are out of position on this start. Number 11 has no rights and causes a crash. starting tactics and strategies by these examples. Remember to communicate. 
the worst thing to have happen is to have a collision and get hung up or damage a boat. When that happens, it ruins your race and maybe your day. Thank you for watching our video. Please show us support by subscribing. We love you. Please subscribe and hit like for more videos. And of course, share with your friends. If you're a webmaster, please put a link on your club's homepage or website linking them to our Sail Wars YouTube homepage. This will make it so easy for your members to get to our videos. On our website, we have many playlists of all different types of boats. And of course, please subscribe. You can also subscribe at the end of this video. This is Sandy Pondwater, signing off. I'll see you at the pond.